So, B and B, where are you at? Probably versus tether is going to be your best long-term data. And does do we get all the data? I hope we do. I think we do. Summer of 2017. Ah, we only got down to November of 2017. Maybe we just have to go with the market cap one. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Does that give you summer of 2017? It does. August of 2017. Perfect. Um, so let's see here. In terms of how low it went to the top. Boom. Yep, the number is right, right? Uh, so here in terms of percentage, right? Uh, let me make sure I got the decimals right. Yeah, 683,000%, right? Um, and so, yeah, the rough estimate is correct, um, basically saying about 7,000x. It's actually a little bit more than that, right? Um, when you look at percentages and versus number of Xs, um, it, it actually it goes a little bit beyond that. So she's actually not underselling it here, but um, basically just kind of going, turning those percentages straight to an, an X, which isn't exactly correct, um, but generally it's it's close enough, right? So um, she's actually being a little bit more conservative here, which means more than a thousand X, um, but uh, is very possible. But of course, right with BNB here, you do have to remember uh, this chart here, right? This is over two cycles, right? Here in 2017, it went up until the end of 2017. Um, the first bull cycle, right? It literally went up about uh, 24,000 percent, almost 25,000 percent, right? Um, which was significantly less than that 7,000 X, right? Um, so yeah, um, that's the o that's the only thing to take into account there. So over multiple bull cycles, right? That's the only difference here. But if you do look at, uh, I'm going to go back there, right? If you do look at Ethereum, right, versus BNB. Um, like Ethereum is one that probably, if you go back to its way early days, right, it probably did do that 1,000x in the very first cycle. Um, and then Solana was only around one cycle as well so far, and it did do that 1,000x. So uh, I would say Solana and Phantom and any of these other layer ones are probably going to be your closest bets. Binance, even though it's a little older, is probably a good comparison in terms of how the chain's personality plays out. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of different stuff to kind of to look at here in terms of, okay, where is Pulse Chain currently? And kind of like, it's in its amoebic state, but how is this going to cut? What, what can we build on right now? I think there's a lot to build on.